this is a really fun part of my day. Waking up in the morning, opening up my curtains, just to see the neighborhood that I slept in overnight. That, and also I love to see if there's any other vehicle dwellers that pulled up around me while I was sleeping that night, because that happens quite often. People will drive around trying to find a place to sleep, and as soon as you see another vehicle dweller, you automatically know that that place has to be okay to sleep, so they pull up around you. I also know some people that like to find other vehicle dwellers just for the safety aspect of it. Some people don't feel good about sleeping in their cars, so if they can pull up behind a camper van with somebody else around, it adds an extra element of safety. And they're absolutely right. Because if something were to happen outside of my van with another vehicle dweller, you damn right I'm getting out of my van. You damn right if I have to knock a few heads, I'm going to do it. Why? Because if you're sleeping in a vehicle around another van lifer or vehicle dweller, we're all neighbors. We gotta stick together just like we were a community in a sticks and bricks neighborhood. The van lifers, like we just pull our home up beside another home, we gotta be neighborly. We gotta stick up for our neighborhood, that's for sure. Welcome to another piece of my van life. We're starting this one in Vancouver, BC. Looks like right outside the Timmy's, we got some vehicle dwellers. Definitely one right there, and I'm pretty sure someone's in that, in that stealthy looking. Yeah, I'm pretty sure someone's in that one. <laughs> van lifers, you can't hide, you guys. You can't. We, us van lifers, we know you're in there. <laughs> Stealth, it's not a thing. <laughs> sign there decorated for Christmas. Look at look how cute that is. Aw. I see mountains. We are approaching Vancouver Island. Here we are. Let's go. Hey buddy. I see you in two minutes, okay? You should put your tongue away. Dun, dun. Hey. Like my new shirt it says Van City. I bought it when I was out shopping with my daughter the other day. Right? There's orcas in my beer. Oh no. Yeah. A little bit of beer and breakfast. Okay. I have a tea for lunch. <laughs> and, you, and you got a tea and a burger. It was my brunch. I got a candy cane, my first candy cane of the year. Bye, Amy. <laughs> Mm. We went out for brunch. She went out for lunch at a place here in Parksville. You can go ahead, ma'am. Called Lefties. It was freaking delicious. Hey, buddy. Then I went to the pet store, grabbed him a whole pile of frozen food. All right, we gotta go to the shop. Sorry. I uh, just checked, and I've got a few packages coming in today that weren't supposed to be in until later in the week, but apparently they're coming pretty quick. We have the number nine. <laughs> you want a coffee? Hey, what's in there, buddy? You, you gotta it? sit down. Number nine. <laughs> it's in tight, it's in tight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> can't control this <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right, just dump them in my mouth. Yeah! Did you just dump them all in his mouth? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Oh, Is you did boy? it good. Oh, good boy, buddy. Oh. 
Hold on, bro, hold on. <laughs> Give it to me, Dad. That's it, bro. We just came by the shop to drop off a few things. You ready to go? Are you ready to go? All these parts are looking pretty good, man. I uh, this engine turned out turned out great. I got to come back here in the next few days and get all of this stuff all painted silver and uh, paint up a few things that are in those boxes. Oh, I love this sign. <laughs> Subscriber sent me that. I love that. And uh, start cleaning up some more parts. That's that's another day. I don't want to do that today. All right, bro. Come on, Cruzy. Come on. Awesome. Thank you. I got myself a couple junior bacon cheeseburgers, which is probably a really bad idea. I'm hungry. All oh, the snow's gone. <laughs> Didn't take a long couple days. Boom, gone. And last time we heard the snow was piled up to like here. Cool. <laughs> it's on a bit of a hill here. Oh, trying to clean out the yucky stuff in here. Cruzy, your dishes do not smell good. Grody, buddy. clean water bowl. I'm gonna take you guys. <laughs> Try not to fall off here. I'm taking you guys to a snuggle party at Emmy's house. I'm bringing my whole YouTube channel in for a snuggle party. Oh, snuggle party. Snuggle party. Christmas here. Oh, it looks amazing in here. Mm. I feel bad. You guys see my Christmas decorations, a couple of bells and I'm done. Awesome. <laughs> we could go around at least with Good night, Miss Emmy. Good night. I'll lock your door. this thing adding this Dyson vacuum was an amazing addition to the home I keep forgetting that my foot <laughs> is injured sometimes and then you just bend it a certain little way and oh yeah reminds you real quick like whoa 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 bro take it easy on your foot <laughs> you see me shimmy here across the floor with my butt <laughs> okay because we've been so busy inside of the shop these days and not so much spending much time during the day in the van, I really think I need to do a serious purge in here. I did a big purge after my road trip because uh, yeah, sometimes you just accumulate things and you accumulate knick-knacky stuff or extra little things. And uh, now that we're back here and I'm spending a majority of the, majority of the time at the shop, I feel like I'm using less things in here, kind of turning the light switch on to maybe some things that are in my van that I could probably get rid of. This top drawer is so packed full of stuff. Like, there's gotta be a better way to organize all of my spices, because right now it's just, I just chuck things in the drawer and I slam it shut. The only thing in here that has a reason is all the stuff I use in my oatmeal, which is boom, 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 boom. I think I need to do this kind of a system for everything that I need. Like maybe do this kind of a system for my coffee stuff. So instead of having random things that look like, you know, they're just sitting here. I have two different kinds of sugar cubes. Maybe I could do a sugar cube container, a container for um, filters. If I ever do decide to use the filter system. Hey, buddy. 
<laughs> Chrissy went from the front seat here under and over there. How you doing, Chrissy? He's like, ah, oh, the heater's on, Dad. I gotta come here and get as much of the heater as I can. Yeah, you look happy today, bro. But you know, maybe I think that's a good idea is just to kind of like, you know, put some put some reasoning to all this stuff because this is ridiculous. You know, when you go to shut it and things are... Yeah. Right? <laughs> anyway. Hey, buddy. You think we should put some organization to this chaos? I gotta fix this cupboard here, too. So this one's not bad. Things are kind of organized down there. This doesn't belong my... It's my fuzzy for my... That belongs in my camera thing. I gotta fix this cupboard, too. So what's happening down there is that bottom latch needs to be adjusted. See, it's loose. Gotta fix that. Because what happens is when that thing becomes loose... Because anytime you have a screw on anything in your van, you're bouncing around, it's going to come loose. So that needs to be tightened up down there. By tightening that up, we'll bring this up and allow it to sit on that sit on that latch. But yeah. But if you guys are looking at building vans, while we're talking about latches right now, these little metal latches, just you can find them on Amazon. You can find them at Marine Stores. The small metal slam latches are awesome. These things are way better... Don't use that as an example. I have one here. This one is absolutely awesome. And that holds that whole top drawer completely. These ones are really good. I, I hear they have a less of a failure rate than the plastic slam latches. That's not to say these latches aren't awesome. I think you can buy them three in a pack for 10 bucks or something like that. They're super cheap. But um, the ones that uh, are on cupboards sideways... I find have lasted the long haul. These top ones here, I don't know if it's because you grab and you yank hard on them to get it up. These ones haven't lasted as long. Now that I say that, these have also been in here for four years now. So take that with whatever you want, you know what I mean? But uh, there is, see like they say, they stay open. These could be replaced, but after four years of use, to replace them is really no big deal but uh yeah i way prefer these ones man it's nice and warm in here isn't it bro look at the floor floor of the van <laughs> hey it's nice to have all this space down there huh buddy hey but no matter what's on the floor you're always sleeping in front of the heater hey bud no if you're crazy right after i got off the ferry I get the notification on my phone saying I got packages coming in early. So I spent the whole rest of the day at the shop waiting for these packages. And as soon as I leave the shop tonight, within a half an hour, Mark, that lives in the house beside the shop, he was like, hey bro, three packages just arrived on my doorstep for you. I'm like, <laughs> shit, I just left. If I would have just held out like 30 minutes longer, but uh, I don't know if maybe if the shipping companies are just working later because it's like the holiday season. But I was not expecting <laughs> at all expecting that thing to come in today because I've done that so much waiting for stuff coming in and just waited and waited and waited. And I know around 7 p.m. at night is usually, you know, I'm like, who's going to deliver after seven? Well, apparently, <laughs> apparently Amazon still does. <laughs> that package was from Amazon. Uh we only got a couple more days of packages coming in and we have no more, nothing arriving at the shop until probably early January when I have some larger parts um, coming in. So I ended up buying myself some new door panels for the ambulance. We'll talk about all this stuff a little later. Uh, new door panels and I got another dog house. The dog house is the engine cover on the inside with the cup holders and stuff. I am upgrading the doors and the center console piece to a 2012 and i didn't know that they could fit but i guess the door panels from my van or from the ambulance which is a 2003 those 2012 door panels fit on those 2003s giving it a new modern look that's got more pockets and storage on the door which is awesome the only thing i need to do is change some wiring stuff so the power door locks and everything works so there's a bit of a, a wiring 
change in there, which I'm gonna have to look into. Um, I re watched a video online today, it didn't seem too hard, but yeah, there's gonna be some al um, altering that, that's needed to fit the doors in, but it'll give it a nicer new modern look, which is awesome. And it'll be nice to get in the front of the Ambo, and it doesn't look like the front of this current van. A new fresh little look, a new cup holders. Uh, I'm pretty stoked on that one. Um, but those won't be coming in until early early January. They say after December 26th sometime, but they haven't even shipped yet. Um, I ended up tracking tracking those things down on uh, on eBay. That was hard, man. I'm digging. There's so much stuff on that uh, on eBay, but it's hard to find something that was at an affordable price because there's people selling those things at ridiculous amounts of money. I called all the scrap yards, auto wreckers, everything around here. Nobody had them. They're like, hey man, I got a dog house, but if it's got paint on it, is that okay? I'm like, no, <laughs> no, that's not okay. Or they're like, yeah, I got the engine cover part, which is the dog house, but uh, there's no cup holders. And every one of them are like, we have that part, but no cup holders. Some of them said there was full of grease on them and scratches and drill holes. And I'm like, I want a nice clean one for the inside of that. Oh, and another thing, I um, I don't have a picture of it. I've been looking at front seats for the ambulance and I found a set of leather truck seats. Great shape, decent price, and I might go back over to the mainland this week and go take a look at them. It's actually a full seat set out of an entire truck. Front seats, back seats, all leather. So the front has the two front seats and the center console, all leather. Back seats has the split bench in the back. So I had a thought. My thought was to use the leather seats in the front of the Ambo because they're just beautiful. And then take that little split bench in the back because it's split. So you have a little three quarter bench and then the little bench and they have the little headrest and stuff on it. You know, the back of a crew cab seat, anyway but split that bench up and maybe use that for seating in the ambulance. So right where you'd put a normal little, you know, the little patio cushions and stuff that vans have, just put these leather truck back seats and I don't know. I, I'm, I'm gonna think about this a bit more, but I might go over there and take a look at it because the price seems pretty decent. And um, yeah, cause I was looking at seats online for the front of that Ambo and finding like a nice set of leather captain's chairs by the time I get them landed here in Canada, you're looking at $2,000 for two front seats. I, uh, no, just no, no. I'll keep my regular seats in there now, but I would love to take that extra step with this ambulance and add a little bit of nice luxury to it. So having some leather seats will be pretty epic in the front, I think. I don't know. I haven't bought them yet. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm just just sharing my thoughts with you guys. So um, the new Van City shirt's pretty cool. So Van City is actually a clothing brand in Vancouver. This is not my Van City Van Life merch. Be pretty cool if it was, but it's not. I uh, yeah, Van City is just a clothing brand in Vancouver, and I was out shopping at the mall with my kiddo the other day, and uh, they had one of these shirts, so I snagged it. Um, it was pretty cool. <laughs> Sometimes when you go shopping with somebody else, you got to spoil yourself just a little bit, right? Felt really good. Anyway, everybody, um, thanks for riding along with me here today. It's been cool hanging out with you. And uh, yeah, this, this world of mine's chaotic. And um, hit subscribe, guys. We do all sorts of stuff on this channel. My channel, you never know what you're going to get. It's not going to be the same thing every day. You, you come here one day, I might paint an engine green. You come here the next day, we might be on the top of a mountain ridge somewhere overlooking the ocean, screaming, what's up, weirdos? You never know. My channel spans everything van life from the build side to the stealth camping side and the not so stealth van side to, uh, I don't know, just me sitting in my van talking. <laughs> you never know what you get here. <laughs> Welcome to Van City Van Life, you guys. I'll see you soon. Woo! It's that time where I get nitty. I'm nuts. I'm crazy. Okay, folks. This time we're saying bye because I'm taking my pants off. And you don't want to stick around for that.